Hey everybody, welcome back. Steve here with eXp Realty. In this next quick video, I'm gonna break down a few things that you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind if you are currently out in the market shopping for a new home and new construction is where your attention is focused. So let's check them out. All right there, my friends, as mentioned, if you are shopping for a new home and a uh, new build is what you're going after, here's some things that you're gonna to wanna to need to know. Upon starting your search for a uh, new construction home, take a realtor with you. It'll cost you nothing to uh, be represented by a buyer's agent, and in most cases, they can assist you in the transaction process the same way they would a resale. Also, they're gonna represent you with your best interest in mind. Um, if you don't have the luxury of taking a real estate agent with you, just be aware, don't sign any paperwork or any forms as you may actually be waiving your right to be represented and in some cases then have to proceed through the transaction on your own. Some people think that by not having a real estate agent, you can actually save in the sales price in some way, shape or form. This is simply not true either as most builders factor in real estate commissions as part of their sales price. Some new construction communities will have a sales office with sales agents on hand. This is all good, but just please be aware those sales agents are employed by the builder and have the builder's best interests in mind. As a consumer, when you buy a home, you try to buy the best home for the best price. However, uh, with the builder, they will try to sell their homes with uh, the best return that they can get on their investment. Um, not all homes in a community are gonna be the same. In some way, uh, maybe that corner home, uh, that home on the corner has uh, an easement running through the back. Or maybe there's a particular home that isn't on a, uh, as big a lot size as some of the other ones. Or for some reason or another, there's a particular home in the community that just isn't up to par with the rest. Again, just be aware of these factors. Next tip I can give you guys is find out what incentives are offered by the builder. Now, what I mean by that is every builder may offer something different. Uh, maybe there is a, a perk for using the preferred lender of that builder. Uh, maybe you can save on closing costs. Maybe you can get a, a title policy included. Maybe there's something to do with um, extra appliances included. Know what incentives are being offered to you as the consumer upon purchasing your new construction home. Next tip I'm gonna give you guys is uh, knowing what comes standard in the home versus what is upgraded in the home. Now, especially in new construction communities where there's a couple of models maybe available to take a look through, please be aware, don't fall in love with that model home as in most cases it is upgraded to the T. There's a lot of things that will be included in that model home that you will not get without spending the extra money in your base home. I mean, this is where a lot of builders do make their money as far as upgrades go and whatnot. So again, just maybe take a pen and paper, jot down, uh, you know, what is in fact included versus what isn't. Next tip I can give you guys is um, if you are planning to upgrade on the home upon getting into it, don't over upgrade on the home. Now it is very easy to spend in a, a, a home showcase or a design uh, center uh, easily in the area of twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of upgrades. But here's the thing, with any given community, there's a certain cap on the price that you can get upon reselling that home. And you may not be able to recoup the price of the upgrades that you put into it. If you're getting into a home with, uh, you know, maybe this being your forever home and no desire to sell upon down the road, just be careful of the upgrades that you do put into it and just choose wisely. Next tip I can give you guys kind of goes back to the first tip I had mentioned is uh, just having a realtor that's going to be able to help you throughout the uh, builder inspection process or um, home inspection process. Now I say this because in some cases, you know. Uh, builders hire people that make mistakes too. In some cases, maybe the brickwork on one side of the home isn't cohesive with the other, or maybe uh, there's something that will pop up that could cause a delay in the process, especially if you're trying to stick to a uh, tight time schedule as far as moving, transitioning from one place to another. Also, if you are getting up any upgrades, maybe there's a mistake made in the upgrade process. Uh, maybe the gray flooring that you should have gotten is now black a buyer's agent will be able to take some of the stress off and handle some of these issues for you with the builder, saving you some headaches in the long run. So uh, there you go, my friends. Those are some tips for you guys if uh, new construction is what you're after as far as your new home goes. As always, if uh, you know of anyone that might benefit from this, feel free to share the video. 
Um, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.